Okay, so this video goes with the packet of rhyming pages. I cut apart just the pictures from page one, and I'm going to show you what else you need to do in order to do the draw a picture, write the word activity for students. So the first thing you're going to do is take each group of words and just for ease, I'm going to try my best to order them and then cut apart the picture and then the word. But I need to save the words and so will you. So don't get rid of the words. Okay. So now I have three different pictures without the words. What you could do is take all of, sorry, all of the pictures and put, mix them up however you want, put them upside down. First time you play, you don't really have to mix them up because they're not in any specific order that they would maybe know. So now I have the stack of pictures and just like the rules say, draw a picture, write the words. So I'm gonna flip a picture over, fan. And I'm gonna use my knowledge of letter names and letter sounds to write the word fan. Uh, mm, fan. Okay, you could use the dry erase board if you have one. You could just use paper and pencil. And then you can just continue, put that in your done pile, draw a new one. Ooh, this could be two words. We could do just dog or we could do pet because again, we cut the words off. It's kind of up to their discretion on what they want to call the picture. I'm gonna go with pet. So this is one activity. If you're following the videos and pictures I'm seeing out, this belongs with the number one activity page.